Hey guys, today we're going to compare Canva to Affinity Designer version 2. They are a bit different software built for a different purpose, but now they are all part of the one big Canva family. So when should you choose Affinity Designer? When should you use Canva? To help you make your own decisions, I have prepared four points where Affinity Designer will be a choice four points for Canva and four points that both software can handle really well. So let's dive into the very first point. For Affinity Designer, this app is tool focused. So the whole app is built around your tools and it will take a while to master them to understand what is available. But after you do that, after you go through this initial learning experience, then you can do really a lot with those tools. So you are not limited by some pre-made features made by creators. You can just grab the tool and do whatever you want to do with that tool. So it's tool focus workflow. Something that you may be familiar if you're coming from like professional or semi-professional backdrop. So if you've been using Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW or stuff like that, that's you, you will feel it just like home. You got all of the tools to your disposal, like nobody's taking anything away from you. From the other hand, Canva is very easy to use. All right, I'm a school teacher and all of the kids use Canva for everything, for all of the homework, for making posters, for making presentations. It's really, really easy. The design, the interface is designed around casual users. All right, so they're not overwhelmed with all of those tools that they need to master for three months before they can move to the first project. No, it's, everything is there for them to use and it's really easy. So that's a big benefit of using Canva is you can use it straight away on day one to finish your project. Both software support multi-pages documents. So that's something you worry about. You wanna make something with multiple pages, multiple artboards, you can do it in both programs. Affinity Designer is a bit better in handling different file formats in both import and export. So you can open more different formats. So you can open like Photoshop document, you can open Adobe Illustrator document, you can edit PDFs, you can save as JPEG, PNG, SVG, and none of that is kind of hidden behind any paywalls and stuff like that. So more file formats available in Designer. From other hand, in Canva, you've got all of those assets and templates available for you. Actually, most users of Canva never do a single project from scratch. Like they never start with the blank page, almost never. They usually use some kind of free or paid template and just customize that. So that's a huge asset for people that use Canva and get used to Canva. They go back to Affinity Designer and ask, where are the templates? <laughs> all right, so that's something that is kind of baked in in Canva and people very quickly get used to that. All right, both software can be used for like multiple design purposes. So we can do for digital, we can do for print, we can also do presentations. As you can see right now, I got all of those slides separately here in Designer. You can do the same thing in Canva with some animations. So both programs can be used for multiple different like projects and stuff like that. They're both very universal. But keep in mind the main purpose of Designer is vector graphics, illustrations, and dealing with vector graphics. And the Canva is what we call a casual design software. So the main purpose is to streamline the production, to give you a ready to use templates, and to allow you to make your first project in your day one without any learning experience beforehand. All right? Let's move to the next thing. I think the designer can offer you a proper desktop app. So you can download the app, install the app, and you got the full desktop app experience without internet, without any connection problems. It's here on your computer, on Mac, Windows, and there's even a proper iPad version. But in Canva, we can only install what we call a Chrome app. So it's kind of like the Chrome tab open up without the address bar at the top but it's still running in the browser okay so in this case i think designer is a better choice if you want to use desktop app versus the web browser app canva got some ai tools and they putting resources into ai stuff like backdrop selections animation generating images writing so 
they really kind of catching up with AI tools. And as we know, Affinity Designer Publisher thought all of the AI tools, even the smart selection machine learning tools are still missing. Right now, I can tell you that they are working on it behind the scenes. Now with the Canva help, they are bringing some kind of selection tools using machine learning to the next version of designer that may be released this year. But as it is right now, version 2.5, no AI integration, not even AI, not even like smart tools with machine learning in Affinity Designer. So if you're searching for AI tools, AI help, you need to go with Canva in this case. How about the price tag? Affinity Designer is one time purchase. So you pay for it once and then you keep using it. You got all of the free updates until the next version, version three. Right now we are on version 2.5 already. So we still got four more free updates coming up. And then you can keep using version 2.9 even after version three is released, okay? So that's not like they're taking this away from you. So you buy it once and you can keep using it. For Canva, the good news is you can use it actually for free to some extent. That's what most users do. But then if you want like some advanced features, you will need to pay monthly for it for Canva Pro subscription. All right. So they got this subscription model that not many of you are <laughs> fans of. But why I put it in the gray zone? Normally I make the Affinity Designer win here because they got proper free version. All right. So young people, students, and some people that use this casually like once a week, they will be good to go with the free version. They will never ever pay a penny for Canva. So we cannot forget about free version available here. Not like in Affinity Designer, you, you need to pay for it. Even you plan to use it very rarely, like once a month, you still need to buy it. Okay, so there's no free version or trial version. It's just limited now. I think they limit that to one week in the past. They extend that to like three months. Then there was one month. Now I think it's only one or two weeks. So they're kind of shrinking that. So Canva can be free. I think design is one of pages. So I think both apps are really good in that, in the age of when everybody tried to sell you like big subscription services and then cancellation fees that are more expensive than whole subscription. So yeah, price, not bad for both, I guess. Let's move to the last row. I think designer, no paywalls. After you purchase the app, you can keep using it, right? This is kind of related to what I just mentioned about Canva Pro. So using the Canva for free and at some point you want to do something, something sometimes really simple, like resize your project because you just got the phone call from your customer and they want different size this time. And you cannot do that for free. You need to restart the whole project or pay for it. So that's an example of the paywall, putting some key feature that maybe use at the end of the design process behind the paywall. That's something that you kind of, it's kind of be justified like, oh, you are using AI, so you pay extra. Okay, I understand that I generate the traffic on the server. Oh, you wanna edit videos now with animations? Okay, pay extra for that. The video editors are expensive, okay. But sometimes they're putting those paywalls, they're putting those premium features in very generic places because they try to, get money from all of those casual users that don't know how to do it other way, otherwise. So I don't like that. And in my opinion, if you want the full experience straight away without any paywalls, go with Affinity Design and you've got full control here. Popularity. Here is Canva is smashing Affinity Designer to the ground. Take a look at this red line here on the trends. This is web search. The red line is Affinity Designer, it's zero. The volume of searches, tutorials, resources, assets, people exchanging project files in Canva is huge. All right. The, I can give you a list of like 20 YouTubers that make a living just by posting content about Canva and, and for I think designer, there's not even a single one. All right. <laughs> not even one. So yeah. Canva is huge, is popular. Everybody know what Canva is, how to open the files. Most people know how to modify them. You can invite them to existing files to work together. You can find tons of tutorials and help on Canva. So it's way popular. That's why I think if the Canva make Affinity Designer a bit more popular by offering it in some discounted price in the Canva Pro package in the future, that would be great. But for now, the Canva is destroying designer in popularity. 
because there's also a free version, so that's that's also matters. How about the iPad support? For iPad, both apps got really good iPad support, and I think for for a while, I think Design was the best vector editing app for iPad. Now there are a few others, but for a while it was like nothing even close. It's really good, intuitive, got a lot of like gestures and touch control shortcuts. For both apps, it's it's really, really good process, well designed, well optimized for touch control. All right, so here it is, we got Canva versus Affinity Designer. Now, both of those programs are under the same umbrella because Canva purchased the Affinity family. So now Canva owns Affinity Designer, Photo and Publisher. So I'm guessing some of those some of those features may be introduced in the future updates. And other way around, maybe the Canva users, when they subscribe to Pro, maybe they will get Affinity Designer for free, like in monthly basis, right? But they already promised they're going to offer one off payments for Affinity Designer. That, that will not change, okay? So let's not panic just yet. All right, so here it is. Affinity Designer is tool focus app, where Canva is more like a casual template focus app when you pick the templates and customize them. Canva is way easier to learn. Both apps support multiple pages or artboards in per document. If you've got existing file formats or people sending you different files or requesting different file formats, Designer is better for that. Back to templates and assets. It's all baked in into Canva. If you need templates for Designer, you need to search for them and purchase them on your own. Both programs can be used for both print, digital, and presentations. Affinity Designer offer a desktop version. AI tools are available in Canva. For the price, we got $70 for Designer and $13 per month for Canva. Designer got no hidden cost or paywalls inside. Popularity that's for Canva, it's way more popular. Both apps can be used on iPad. All right, so here's our little verses. I hope this will help you to decide which app is better in your situation. Thank you for today. See you in the next one.